Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today I'm proud to unveil a new lineup of car care products, uh, which is a collaboration between Turtle Wax and Mr. Cartoon himself, the legendary LA artist that's known worldwide uh, for his tattoos, uh, for his automotive art and his graphic design. Uh, I mean, they married the Chicago innovation from Turtle Wax and their knowledge of car care products, uh, along with the uh, LA lifestyle and the uh, LA car culture they mix that together and they call it the art of car care and I mean Mr. Cartoon himself hand designed all of the labels uh, you're gonna see all the products absolutely amazing I mean just look at that coming from a, a content creator myself I just love art and look at that the logo Mr. Cartoon and Turtle Wax and all this hand design stuff that represents uh, the uh, LA car culture and uh, all their lifestyle over there and again mixed with that Chicago based innovation from Turtle Wax so an entire new lineup of products uh, that was designed from the ground up with uh, Mr. Cartoon himself giving his input on what he wanted things like for example the all tire and clean prep that's made specifically for those who have um, well you can clean any tire but those who have those white walls right uh, or that white lettering there's optic brighteners inside there that do quite a difference so I was able to not only sit down uh, with Mr. Cartoon himself I was blessed and honored uh, to have him for an interview you're going to see that in this video uh, but I was also able to talk uh, with the uh, lead chemist uh, from the uh, innovations team uh, Michael Schultz himself from Turtle Wax and have uh, basically an entire discussion on what the products are what they do what's the uh, well all the details you know how I love to bring you guys behind the scenes they did however fly me over for the unveiling at the event uh, in LA uh, near Venice Beach so that's where Arnold Schwarzenegger one of my uh, childhood idols was training uh, at Muscle Beach in the uh, 70s so I went for uh, a bit of shopping I went to my first ever major league baseball game the LA Dodgers absolutely destroyed their opponents uh, so that was uh, quite fun as well and uh, in the LA Dodgers stadium Mr. Cartoon did one of the murals in one of the stores himself uh, again just on a gigantic size absolutely crazy uh, I'll leave the links by the way to all these products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out uh, you can get them right away so they're available right now it is a global launch expect them in more and more countries as the time goes by uh, but obviously right now in North America especially USA uh, you can either get them on the Turtle Wax website uh, you can get them in an O'Reilly uh, auto parts store or on the Mr. Cartoon website again I'll leave all the links and all the information uh, in the description so check that out uh, but yeah absolutely insane so look at that we're going to do a deep dive you're going to get uh, to see the interview about all the products but quickly so you guys know uh, what they have for the beginning of this lineup is the all wheel cleaner then as we said you get the all tire clean and prep products and you're going to notice all the labels are <laughs> insane again hand drawn by Mr. Cartoon himself uh, and there we go slick wash and wax of course you guys know needed to have a shampoo in the lineup there's a quick detailer so this is the quick detailer there's LVP so a leather vinyl and plastic protectant this one here has more a lower sheen more of that OEM appearance still has UV protection uh, then there's the interior and exterior protectant so this is good for inside and out plastic rubber and vinyl for those of you who want a higher gloss so a little more glossy but still non-greasy and still UVA UVB protection uh, of course for that super wet look the tire shine from the uh, Mr. Cartoon and Turtle Wax collab line and then a bunch of air fresheners in a form of foggers so just look at these the scents by the way that are in there are insane and even the artwork on that I'm sure a lot of people are going to buy them not only for the products themselves to use them but to collect them to have all of that artwork so here are more of those interior foggers all right guys I'm here with the man the myth the legend Mr. Cartoon himself sure. what's up brother how's it going Doing great. So, uh, Tunes here is an inspiration for many of my viewers out there, but I want to touch a little bit with you today because we're unveiling these products. Basically, it's a partnership between Turtle Wax and the Mr. Cartoon brand. Yes. So, what your inspiration was behind these awesome labels that you personally designed. However, I want us to go a little, maybe a bit behind how yes. it started. How were you in the culture as an artist? Sure. What you did, because I know you, I love hip hop music, and sure. I grew up knowing what you were doing so kind of touch on that and then how you portrayed into this business of sure. with the labels internal wise how that happened yeah as a kid you know i fell in love with graffiti art you know you listen to hip-hop and you know the soundtrack 
for all the graffiti, you know what I'm saying? And I started painting, doing my name pieces on the wall, and that yes. felt real good. Yep. But as I got a little bit older, it was time to get a job. So I moved into sign painting, doing gold leaf windows, uh, show plaques for the cars. Yep. I started doing murals on the trunk lids of Impalas and airbrushing t-shirts at car shows. So, you know, my whole life was consumed with automotive and art and graft. So as I got a little bit older and I started to understand marketing and started to understand making products, I had a dream of walking into an O'Reilly's and seeing my product that had a hip hop twist to it. There you go. Each font was hand designed and with the attitude of the street. Absolutely. So I remember, because guys, you guys, I don't know if you know how big this is, but we're in Los Angeles and you're, I think, are you from California? Originally? I am born Always. and raised. Yep. Born and raised. And so the car culture, but the Latino community as well. And I remember you doing a lot of tattoo art for artists like 50 Cent, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, you name them. You're still friends with the majority of those artists as well. Yeah. And now you kind of went into another league of your own in creating these designs. So what was your inspiration? Because I see all these labels, by the way, guys, yes. he hand designed these. Yes. So what, how do you call this art? You know, I call it a uh, fine line, low rider, Chicano art, but, and now it's even beyond that. So it's, it's going into forming into, you know, global street art where people around the world are emulating the styles that were born here in California. Now they're doing it in Asia and Australia and in Latin America. You know, so it has a Latino base to it, but Absolutely. it's for everybody because the tattoo design attitude is shown in the labels and you know we tattoo everybody so it's it's really about uniting different car cultures together yes you know and we all have the same love for making something kind of dirty and making it shiny and, and if you want to inspire the youth that's there i met your son lefty yeah so he's yeah. a, a up-and-coming artist as well mm -hmm. for any of those young artists out there what yeah. is the biggest recommendation or tips that you might have for their future sure i mean you know, I'll tell you guys the same thing I tell my son, and that's surround yourself by other artists, other artistic people, people that are into, you know, mechanics on cars, audio installation, upholstery. These are the things I love. Learn auto body and paint. You understand it. Take it at your local community college. Hang around the auto body shop. Be of service. Take out the garbage. Clean the paint guns. Learn how to mix paint. Do it all enjoy yourself and beautify your community and work hard right you gotta work hard if you don't get home and you're not tired then you didn't do it but the good thing is to is to work hard at something you love you know what i mean i'm gonna do this anyways this is a if i won the lottery this is the company i would make this is what i would do so tell yourself that if you won the lottery what would you make what a nice venture. So partnership between you and Turtle Wax. You even designed, they're telling me, the Master, That's uh, our shield. Mr. Cartoon, and the Turtle Wax Shield. Yes. So all this hand-drawn. And of course, we can tell when well, you're going to see some B-roll shots of all the cool cars that are here at the event. Mm. But also, you're an artist in your own right, and you're now yes. doing more and more of that art, and maybe a, a bit less of the tattoos. Sure. So where do you see yourself in five years from now? Yeah, in five years, you know, the evolution of my art takes me more into the fine art world, doing big paintings and canvases for people's homes and, you know, definitely focusing on the automotive world, you know. Absolutely. This is a huge, huge priority for us is to make this brand, you know, take flight. And the good thing about it is that most of my stuff I do is so limited edition, you can't get your hands on it. But this will be available at O'Reilly's, your community spot. Where you there you go. Here. Plus it's a global launch as well. Yes. So here in the US, exclusive to O'Reilly's for a few months, yes. but globally as well available. Listen, all the best to you, all the success in the world, my brother. Thank and, you. And uh, we'll see you for more stuff later on. Guys, Mr. Cartoon. All right, guys, so of course, now you guys know it's a big product launch, a collaboration between Mr. Cartoon and the Turtle Wax brand. So I have Mike, the head of R&D. Mike, thanks for being on the show. Uh, thank you, Dan, so, glad you're here. Thank you. He, you guys have seen him on the show before, but I like to do the deep dives, and we're going to go over the products here behind me, the entire lineup, and basically give you the essentials or the key points about each one. So, Mike, if you can go through us with that. So the uh, this one here, the all-wheel cleaner, what is it? And any uh, any key points? Well, key well first of all, uh, when we design these products and design the formulas, there's a collaboration between Mr. Cartoon and Turtle X. His passion for cars, his artwork, 
and our chemical knowledge, we, we work together to design these products so they're pretty cool and they're very relevant to anybody that's an auto enthusiast. So the all-wheel tire cleaner, or the all-wheel wheel, the all-wheel cleaner is actually uh, pH neutral, but it has the iron removing sodium thioglycolate chemistry, odor controlling, odor controlling and scent lock uh, chemistry in there to prevent that that nasty hydrogen sulfide The smell. rotten egg smell oh, right, that we yeah, often right, have, right? Yeah. So this has the color yeah. changing technology in it? Plus, it, yes, it has the color changing. It is blue. And the cool thing is it goes from blue, and when you spray it on wheels with iron contamination, it goes blue and red and turns into purple, right along with Mr. Co uh, Mr. Cartoon's product line. So for some deep wheel cleaning and iron removing all that nasty brake dust, this Perfect for that. So yeah. then we move on to a uh, all-tire clean and prep. Okay. There's something special about this one, right? Yes. Basically, the um, all-tire clean and prep is designed to remove a lot of grime deep down in the tire sidewalls, but it's also designed to clean white walls and white lettering for those people that still have the white letters or the white walls on the side of the like car. Like the riders we see here yeah. at the show. Yeah. Exactly. But there's something special about it. We've actually built this product, this formula, with optical brighteners. What do the optical brighteners do? It actually takes the UV light, translates it into visible light to make your black walls look blacker and your white walls look brighter white. I, we have a little demo that we're gonna, we do, uh, when we show people how well this works. Some of you maybe uh, know about optical brighteners used in laundry. It, uh, what it does is it counteracts the fading of clothes but now we've got working with Mr. Cartoon. He wanted his white walls not to yellow. We incorporated it in there. there you so go. your white walls and your black walls stay richer and uh, brighter looking. Fantastic. So then, Mike, we cleaned the wheels and tires. And mm -hmm. now, of course, we've got to clean the paintwork for the rest of the car. So you guys came out with a what they call the slick wash and wax. So this is obviously a shampoo. Yes. Uh, what is it? What's special about this one? This Other one is the label that looks first amazing. Of all, Working with Toon, he loves scent. He absolutely loves scent. So there's three times more scent in here than you would see in a normal car wash. So when you fill up your bucket, you, the fragrance will bloom out of the bucket and give you that nice, pleasant experience. But there's foam stabilizer in here. So when you fill up your bucket, he loves lots of foam, but he likes the foam not to collapse. Yes. So this is a very stable foam. It works with all foam cannons or in bucket washes. Gives you that nice, rich foam uh, that lasts the duration of the walk. So it's not, the foam is not going to collapse because of hard water or soils that get back in the bucket. So it's going to continue to work until your uh, wash is done. Plus it has wax, so revitalize that shine and not to strip the wax and add a little gloss and shine. So how many ounces of this would you put in your bucket for the hand wash? Two ounces. Two ounces, and in yeah. a foam cannon, how much? You would use it either probably 50-50. Okay, and what's the scent called? Because I, I, it is just, so it's, good. it's called Sunshine Apple, but it really doesn't smell like apple at all. It has that fresh outdoor scent. We have some foggers as well we're going to get to yeah. at the end for the interior. So we did all that. Now, for the exterior, once your car, the tires and the wheels are all cleaned, your paintwork is clean, the car is dry. Uh, you have this here, so the quick detailer. Yeah. But it's not like any other quick detailer. Yeah, basically this is, acts as a detailer. You can use it frequently, uh, all the time, anytime you want to use it. But it also has a polymer that it makes it act like a waterless wash. So if you have a little bit of soil buildup and you just don't think it's dust, it may be a little bit of soil, there's the polymer actually surround that soil, capture it and pull it into your microfiber towel so there's less chance of swirls and scratching, which is right on the label. So what technology is in there? Waxes, sealants? What there is a little bit of carn uh, carnival wax, but there's a specialty polymer, which I can't tell you what it is. Secret sauce. Secret sauce, <laughs> but there's shining agents in there is to kind of re uh, brighten, the, uh, brighten the paint but it will not streak. All, everything that we do is about ease of use without streaking. And can but, people use this, uh, let's say, outside? Is there an issue? No, you can use it outside. Okay. It's not, you can use it on all washable surfaces, all exterior, uh, all exterior surfaces, including glass. So glass, uh, chrome, plastic trim, paint. Paint, everything, the, the, whole, the whole thing. So it's a bit of gloss, a bit of slickness, a bit of pop on your paint right when you're done? Yes. Awesome. What's the uh, expected durability? How often should they be applying? Well, because it's a detailer, it's something that really isn't built with any durability. Yeah. It's designed for regular use. It's really just to remove all the soils, leave a little bit of little wax, a little shine, a little gloss, 
little protection. So when you wash so your car, basically, at the it's end? a great, yeah. It's but it's a great topper for anything that you have, might have used on the car before. Can they use this on wet paint and dry paint? Can they use this as a drying aid or just on dry? Basically, you can use this uh, only on dry. Dry paint. Okay. Uh, this is really not designed for wet use. Okay. It's really a maintenance type of product. Got it. But the scent in here, you were commenting on. Yes. One of my chemists, Kyle Kozlowski, he loves sweet scents and so do the tune people yes and this is a gummy bear scent so if you like a sweet candy like oh, that's, scent, a, that's another that's good one and you guys come up with the craziest yeah. stuff so what's nice also is that uh, mr cartoon himself he had a lot of input with you yes guys, he right? did yeah which, so. uh, that's why it's a collaboration it's it, what he knows and what we know on the chemical side that is bringing this so all it's not together. just him slapping these awesome no, no. labels on and so he had he had, yeah, they had a lot of input in a lot of the formulas so we're done with the exterior but for the final touch you guys know i love a tire dressing so this one here the tire shine is in aerosol format yeah. so what would you say is special about this one this one is you can shine is adjustable you can actually layer this on the tire the thing is when if you like just a rich black you would spray it on once let it set for a few minutes and let it dry and you're ready to go. It well, it has a special, it's not just silicone. There's actually an organic polymer in there that kind of bonds to the tire that resists sling. The other thing is if you want to build layers of shine, you can apply it, wait a couple minutes, apply it again if you like that really wet look. Yes. But if you do multiple layers, we recommend that you let it sit for about 20 minutes. Okay. Wipe it in with a foam applicator for maximum shine and no sling. And because it's so durable because of our polymer, it's actually washable. So let's say when the car gets dirty, you wash this, you can literally wash the sidewall and the shine will come back. Does it have any uh, UV protection built in? Absolutely. We always have to. Prevents fading and yeah. cracking and all that. Especially on the white walls and things they don't like. Uh, they like something that's durable and yep. protective. Awesome. So another great one. How often should they apply this? What's the expected durability of? I would say this is something you probably apply about every two weeks. Okay. Or every time you prep the car, or any time you wash the car. Finishing you, touch. Yeah, the nice finishing touch. Anytime you want to add a little bit more gloss or shine. Awesome. So now, of course, the exterior is done. We all want to have a clean interior. So if we start with this one, LVP for leather vinyl plastic. What does this one do and what's special about this one? Mike? All right, this one is all designed about cleaning the inside of a car and bringing back that natural look. It, you can use it on leather, uh, vinyl or the plastic. What I really like about this one, this is fantastic on clear instrument plastics or like cl your age clusters, cluster? yep. age clusters okay. or uh, Navis screens. Normally when you apply anything to a, a clear polystyrene uh, plastic, you kind of get a rainbow or you may yes. even see some of the scratches. Yes. This yes. goes on beautifully and makes that plastic crystal clear. So anything inside the car that's uh, a hard surface from plastic to leather, fantastic. One of my favorites. Spray on, wipe off, yeah. that's it. It's not slick. It doesn't add any slickness. This is one of my favorites inside the car just to bring you back that new car or factory look. Factory appearance. So yeah. a bit of the lower sheen OEM appearance, yeah. Yeah. non-greasy, non-oily. And does it have UV to protect the interior? Absolutely, and ceramic. And ceramic as well. Yeah. Ooh, see, we got an inside for right better there. protection. So then another one for the interior, but this one is slightly different. Yeah. So this one here is called the interior and exterior protectant. Yeah. So what's this one? This is also based on the same silicone and polymer uh, formula that's in the tire shine, toned down for inside the car, and also can be used on on tires and exterior plastic. Long lasting, washable. That's the big thing about this. This is more of a high shine. For those uh, who like that glossy yeah, look. Yeah, this works. My favorite place to use this is on the sill plate or the kick plates on the car, yes. those plastic. They're, they usually get scuffed up and scratched up. Absolutely. I love it on that to make it look like new. Fantastic. And when uh, you also, say you can use it on the exterior? Yes. On rubber parts, yeah. outside or plastics as well? Outside rubber and plastics or inside plastics. This one, I would not use on a seat. It's obviously yeah. it's going to be a little slick. Yes. This this is fragrance with the same fragrance as the LVP. It's a fresh linen. Okay. So if you decide to use both on the inside of the car, you get uh, complementary fragrances that really make the car smell fantastic. Fantastic inside, fresh and clean. And, and you're talking about interior fresh and clean. And here behind us, we have a collection of foggers. Yeah. So if you can explain basically what is a fogger, what does it do? But there's so many the different The foggers scents. are really designed to get rid of uh, internal um, um, odors. Let's say you left uh, fast food in the car or you have uh, 
odors or tobacco odors or odors you can't get rid of. This is designed that you could start the car, run the air conditioning recon, and the fogger, you depress the button and, and it'll evacuate the entire can. You want to leave the window slightly cracked open, but it'll fog up the inside of the car and the odor controlling chemistry will actually encapsulate a lot of the odors uh, in the headliner or in, uh, below the end of the carpet, uh, get through the air conditioning system and really get control of those odors and eliminate them. And it leaves a nice lasting scent that lasts for probably a couple of weeks. So this not only encapsulates, but also eliminates eliminates a lot of bacteria odor, yeah. odor causing stuff. Yes. And what are the scents rapidly? Because I like a lot of them. They're this a mystery. This one being my favorite one. Okay, this one is actually, each one you really can't tell what the scents are. They're designer scents and they're all chosen based on they have their durability. Scratch and sniff on They have a scratch and sniff. Some of them are obvious. This is a peach. Um, but all of them, Mr. Cartoon designed the label and named the product. So this was not us. And uh, each scent is unique. was selected by his team. And these are long lasting. Once they, you fog the inside of the car, Last scent a left, time. Well, well, real long time. Fantastic. Mike? Thank you so much for all the details. I appreciate it. Well, there goes one fucker. Oh. Guys, I hope you appreciated all the details. You got it directly from the head of R&D over at Turtle Wax. And uh, stay tuned for more. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm sure you can tell this is major. I'm sure a lot of brands out there are looking at this collab and going like, how did Turtle Wax pull this off? For anyone out there that thought that Turtle Wax was perhaps the brand that their grandpa or gra or dad uh, used to have, well, since the unveiling of the Hybrid Solutions line, we know they did a big turnaround in 2019. Uh, and now, well, they're up there with uh, the rest, the best of them in their category, right? Uh, and and so this lineup here just again marries the innovation, the Chicago-based innovation from the uh, Turtle Wax brand along with all that LA culture and that LA lifestyle uh, that Mr. Cartoon is known for and uh, he's just been uh, a great innovator in his own right. So they came together to create this Art of Car Care brand. Uh, again, you can pick them up, Turtle Wax uh, website online. Uh, you can get them at an O'Reilly, either the uh, website or the uh, auto parts uh, store uh, in person or online, should I say. And uh, also in uh, on the Mr. Cartoon website and look for more countries to be added to that uh, in the near future. I've been told that Australia is going to be one of them as well. Again, I'll leave links in the description for you guys to check them out. Uh, so what do you guys think? If uh, you saw these and you already used them, uh, let me know. What is your feedback? Drop a comment in the comment section. Also, if you want me to do a deeper dive, is there any one in particular you'd want to see in a future review? I'm always curious to know and to have your viewers feedback. So uh, guys, yeah, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.